Hello wrestling fans, I am Mud Puppet Joel, he is Mud Puppet Ryan, we are the Mud Puppets as always, and like Eminem, we're back, we're back again. Timely reference from Mud Puppet Joel, well, without the money of course. We have a farm burger here, Joel, two big, mean, bad men who want to beat each okay. other up. We got Bryce Sullivan, who of course is undefeated since making his debut in MPW, and Moose. Ojanaka, I believe I nailed that last name. I'll leave that one up to you. I can't pronounce it. Well, Moose uh, was a uh, former uh, 2006 draft pick of the Atlanta Falcons. Also played with uh, the New England Patriots, the St. Louis Rams, the Indianapolis Colts. Now he's crossed over to the world of professional wrestling. And he's come to MPW to put an end to Bryce Sullivan's streak. Well, that is a tough test, but you know, Joel, a lot of great wrestlers who used to play football, Ernie Ladd, Bill Goldberg, Wahoo McDaniel, and we see here a standoff in the middle of the ring. These guys are powerful. I'm, I'm going to be interested to see if we can see which of these guys is stronger. I noticed in that list you did not mention Steve Mongol. I say great wrestlers. Yeah, well, I just wanted to point that out. Or McMichaels, whatever his name was. He sucked. I like Mongol. Here they go, locking up against the ropes, and I gotta say, you know, Brian Sullivan has, has faced a lot of opponents in MPW. I don't know that he's ever locked up with anyone that has the combination of strength, height, and uh, agility, as we're gonna find out here from, from Moose. And this was, of course, from the uh, MPW show that took place at Rookies, Halloween Heat, on October 18th. Yeah, and uh, we've seen Bryce Sullivan in there with a lot of smaller men uh, able to use his power and just dominate. And his path of destruction has been, I mean, something we have not seen in MPW before. And there's another standoff instead of ringing. It looks like these guys are very evenly met. You're all very similar sides we see, and neither one of them wants to give any ground. And, and Ryan, I'd like to say, and I, I hope this doesn't offend uh, some of our more uh, PC listeners. I mean, quite frankly, I don't really care. Well, but uh, who doesn't like to see you know just a big white dude and a big black dude get in there and hammer on each other? Why are you bringing a racial element into this match? I'm I'm just pointing out the obvious. We all love it. Is it a way of working out our, our racial tensions? Is what you're saying, perhaps? You know what? On a psychological level, maybe, but that that's probably a little too deep for uh, this this production. And a, a nice drop kick there by Moose. That was. It. Extremely nice traffic. He got some air on that one. He's a fan. The fans getting behind him. Of course, Bryce Sullivan has not endeared himself to the fans uh, here at MPW, aligning, aligning himself with JP Investments. Well, and I think that's a big part of the reason uh, that he's been so successful. I've always been a big Jonathan Presley fan, and I feel like he has been very smart in leading his men to victories and titles. And Bryce Sullivan is just proving uh, what what a successful manager he is, I think. Yeah, I, I won't argue with uh, Presley's uh, results. Um, you know, not not my personal favorites. A lot of underhanded tactics. A lot of uh, a lot of double speak. A lot of uh, improper goings on behind the scenes. Perhaps payoffs to big bubble luscious. I that's that's all hearsay. We have no evidence of any payoffs. You're setting up for take down there, but side steps and thrown outside to the cold floor. Uh, Bryce Sullivan looking to turn the tables here, head to outside the ring himself. Prep to bring the hammer down on Moose, punch to the side. More kidney shots to the ex NFL star. This could get dangerous for all the goons out there at ringside watching this match. Two big guys out there. They could stumble into the... Wait, did you just refer to the fans as goons? You know my feelings about these fans and the way they act. I just wanted to point it out. I just wanted to clarify. I'm not saying I entirely disagree. I just... I wanted to clarify. I'm not calling all the fans goons. Just most of them. Okay. Moose rolls back into the ring now. The crowd's still trying to will him back into this one. Bryce Sullivan is taking control. And this is where Bryce Sullivan is extremely dangerous. Once he starts rolling in a match, it's hard for his opponent to get back on top. He just keeps hurting you. And look at that knee right between the shoulder blades. An incredible amount of pressure. 
taking it is a tremendous toll on his opponent. Well, he's he's obviously a very large man, and I think the key is to to get him deep into a match. But very few people have been able to do that, and they've not been able to win him. Uh, his brute strength has usually won the day. Yeah, I mean, who can withstand some of these blows that he deals out? Here he comes rushing in. Red knee right into the midsection, and Moose is in some serious trouble here down on the canvas. You know, and, and this is of course our first glimpse at, at Moose in the MPW. It may be the case that uh, he himself is a little green and, and like Bryce Sullivan, has rarely gone up against men his size. Yeah, these are two big boys and they like to get in there and mix it up. The fans are getting behind Moose, they're trying to will him back into this, but Bry is staying right on him. A reverse chin lock, putting a lot of pressure on the neck, digging that knee into the back. Of course, with Bryce Sullivan, uh, this was sort of, a, um, I believe, a test. You know, he noticed he is at ringside without Jonathan Presley, without his JP Investments cohort, Mark Joka. I was going to ask where Presley was. I was missing those glorious sideburns. Uh, he he was not a ringside with Brian this night. Uh, like I said, I, I believe this was uh, this was a, a, a show me. Oh, massive double clothesline and both Sullivan and Moose go down to the mat. Well, you know, Jonathan Presley is probably busy with other business matters, wheelings and dealings. Uh -huh. Probably jetting off somewhere in the world to, to check on some of his investments. Maybe scouting some new talent. You never know. Well, he needs to ever since uh, the departure of, of the scum dogs. His, uh, his ranks have thin. They have, but you know, he's focused. And uh, he's found he's found a way to turn Bryce Olive and Mark Joker into main event players here in MPW. A couple of headbutts. Like, I'll, give him, I'll give him credit. Presley has a history of scaring his clients to the top of any promotion that they enter. And now... Oh, a straight fist and Moose with a smith jaw comes right back at Sullivan with a fist of his own. And again, though, Joe get, lands on the apron this time. Look at that. Definitely to the top like a cat. And that is pretty impressive for a man of his size. Now waiting for Sullivan to recover and turn around. Sullivan jawing with some of the fans at ringside. And he eats a shoulder tackle from the top and down to the mat. And I don't know that I've seen anybody put this sort of beating on, on Bryce Sullivan, or and for that matter, take this sort of punishment from him and keep on coming back. Yeah, definitely. This is about the longest Bryce Sullivan match I can remember, and we see here Moose is really rolling. I was surprised by that agility, Joel. He, he has him up, and wow, that's a lot of weight to get up on your shoulders. Well, again, you know, he, he must be athletic. He's played in the NFL, so perhaps, you know, he, he, he's got a bit of a step here on Bryce Sullivan, and now Sullivan... Battles out of the maneuver and drops Ooh. him down to the mat. That could be it. The Death Valley driver dropping him right on the back of his head, and that's got to be it. Moose is out. Sullivan string. No, he kicks out. Moose. We're going to push this thing past the eight minute mark. And, and yes, as you noted, Ryan, just moments ago, uncharted territory for Bryce Sullivan. His match is usually going go more than five minutes. And he's getting a little frustrated here, uh, asking the referee about that count. Well, and he has a history of abusing officials in MPW. We've seen it before. He's a mean guy, and he does not like it when things don't go his way. Chop there. This chop right in the chest. Another one. You can tell Moose is feeling those. Head button again. Moose, I, Bryce Sullivan needs yes. to stop going there. This man, he's got, uh, oh, oh my goodness, Moose comes flying out of the corner for the cover, one, two, and I almost got big Bryce Sullivan. I thought that was the end of Bryce Nearly. Sullivan's streak right there. I, he may have cracked a rib. Nearly ended it there. My goodness, I don't know what Moose calls that maneuver, but it was explosive. Sullivan calling the referee over. He may be injured. Well, he ain't gonna I, help he you may here. Have hurt her. The right. Right. The rib on that. Then this is usually where Presley or Joker would get involved, perhaps. The pain. Sullivan has has forgotten. He's alone at ringside, and now Moose chucking the rep out of the way. And oh. a low blow. He was playing possum the whole time. Smart. And this, a, a second Death Valley driver here. This has gotta be it. Sullivan straight two and three continue. Extremely smart there by Bryce Sullivan. That was a tough part from that. Hey, you gotta give it to Moose. He gave it to him there, but uh, Bryce Sullivan outsmarts him. Anybody, I want my gold and I want it now. 
Wants his golden. He wants it now. Space only a mother or JT. <laughs> Sullivan down another opponent in this prolonged streak that uh, I believe is, if not already over a year, is approaching one calendar year. I have to consult the record. That's that amazing. Talking to the official here. Got a mic. Cut the music. Johnson Presley usually doing the talking for him. Muscle mass, but Hulk, Hulk meeting up with idol Roddy Hogan. Yeah, and apparently he jumped in a time machine too. This, is, wow. this guy's in his 20s. This is not Hulk Hogan. This is, oh. this is Bo Hogan. The fans are losing their minds here, Joel. Well, wow. I don't know Whoa. how that goes. Bryce Sullivan may come to regret that. Hulk Hogan, living legend, yeah. WWE Hall. He of might famer. come to regret it because he's going to break this kid in two and possibly face homicide charges. My God, I wonder if Brooke and Nick are there. Oh, I'm, I'm sure Nick is, is busy uh, drifting in vehicles and uh, making vegetables with his friends. That is low. I hope I hope he doesn't hear you saying that. <laughs> that was low even he'll, for me. He'll come out here. Look at this, ripping off the shirt, showing off those. 24 inch pipe. Yeah, yeah, okay. And Sullivan oh. has him up. And you know what? I don't agree with a lot of Brock Sullivan's attitude, but I hope he leaves this guy a spot on the canvas. And that. Well, this is an officially sanctioned match. Good to know. It's a 1, 2, 3, and it's done. I was expecting a Hulk up there. Well, that one's over. Well, fans, once again, we are the Mud Puppets. And you can visit mudpuppets.com. Check us out on YouTube at The Mud Puppets, our latest sketch, just in time for the holidays. I can't believe you left me for Santa Claus. Come on over and check it out. 